All right, welcome back to the final part here uh, for our Seat and Guide Tax Y uh, instructional video series. We've uh, cut the intakes in the last part and went ahead and set the exhaust. And now we're ready to cut the last two exhausts here. And then we'll do the exciting part and go head to head. Just unload this guy as it sits, put the next one in, and hit cycle start. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, pretty much fully automated by selecting the tool posts over here that correspond to the intake and exhaust cutter head. So to do that, go over here to program select. Uh, so we've already created those intake and exhaust production seat cap programs. If I highlight uh, either one of these and select the options button above it, uh, there's two buttons here. They say select intake proc sensor and select exhaust exhaust proc sensor. Those correspond to the proximity switches on that tool post on the side. Uh, so when the cutter heads are stored and put in over there, that proximity switch is triggered uh, and when it's removed, when it turns off, it automatically switches to the program here. So that makes it really easy. So once you got these set up and you tie that in, uh, when the operator you just grab that, uh, it'll switch and then you can just hit cycle start. So to do that, uh, I've got the intake here, so I'll select intake proc sensor and say, okay, and you'll see it made that green. Uh, I'll do the exhaust one here, select exhaust proc sensor, intake, and you'll see it makes it red. So now, these are uh, tied in over here. I have the exhaust cutter uh, in at the moment. Let's go ahead and go into the exhaust one. You also see up here now it says the, uh, the head that I'm working on and the program, the uh, exhaust production seat cut, and it's labeled red inside the program itself. If I take this out now, to test this, and we put this back, and remove the intake, you'll see up here, it's switched. So now it says uh, default head intake production seat cut, so it's automatically switched programs. So, um, that lets you just like say go back and forth really quickly. That's your full production setup. So we're gonna go back to the exhaust here. And again, just as we did before, because I set up on this first seat and it's already cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. And we hit start auto site. Clear these chips off. It's not critical as long as they don't stop the pilot from going in. Done. So now this whole head is cut. Uh, and I'm going to adjust those speeds, those RPMs down. I'm running pretty fast here, about 375 RPM. I'm going to go ahead and just slow down. We'll go 325 petty and uh, let's do 375 for penny. You can hear that was getting a little noisy. Again, really easy to make those tweaks here. That is one of the nice things about being on a 10XY. You can really science out your feeds and speeds. Uh, pay attention, do your checks, check vacuum, check concentricity, do blue checks, you know, see how your cutters are wearing out. And then it, instead of having to, you know, adjust feed rates by operator or um, kind of guessing and just kind of getting that tribal knowledge and experience, you can store these values and, and you know, just increase or decrease and tweak things and really fine tune and adjust until you, you've really optimized your production setup. So let's say that's done. We want to load our next one. We take this tool out. Put it back in the tool post. Now it's not necessary but 
I like to move the work hat out so I got room to get in here and I can actually move the table. So. Go to the operation setup to release that head. We got to trigger the I.O. I'm going to demonstrate here uh, the captive capabilities of this fixture and, and making it safe. If I just sit here and I just blindly press cylinder head release, the first thing is it asks me, am I sure I want to release the cylinder head? That's the first safety block for, you know, you should be ready and, and catching things. But in case you don't, you'll see that rotates down. But again, we're not going to fall out. And we don't have to adjust, we don't have to roll back. The fixture stays the same. So then, grab it, slider out. Grab our next head. And just tuck it back in there. Get it right on those hooks. That's loaded. Cylinder head release, unless you'd like to clamp. Again, make sure I don't have my fingers in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then, uh, we can just cut the exhaust first, go back and forth here. I'll turn the first hole back on. I'm gonna press move one. Grab my exhaust cutter. Program's on how to select it. Put that in. Make sure my pilot's locked. Hit start auto cycle. I always like to watch the first hole is dead on. Um, just to make sure in case I made a mistake, uh, I didn't have my fixture in, maybe I. Um, uh, I didn't get the headline properly. Just watch that first one and I'm confident to walk away. So that's done. Get this guy out. Grab this, make sure it's automatically switched. Put that in. And now I just hit start auto cycle again. So that pretty much is it, that completes it. Like I said, you saw, we set up on one head, we went to hold the hole, and, and we just processed our second head there. Um, you get, when you're cutting a lot of material, especially if you're doing new seats, you will get long string chips like this, uh, depending on the seat material. The machine is, comes standard with a uh, 
missed the lubricant system uh, with an air blow, and that can help. Uh, particularly, it, it doesn't matter so much that this gets coiled up on here, uh, but with the the air blow can be nice uh, if you're getting chips that are blocking the pilot from going to guide. It does have crash detection, so if it feels too high up a load when it's trying to go down because it tries to jam a chip into the guide, the machine will air out and come up. But having the air blow to blow, kind of blow out the, the guides and blow that pilot off at the end of each cycle just to keep chip management uh, and make it so you can kind of be as hands off as possible is another nice feature. I don't have a setup on this one, but uh, it, is, it is standard. So. That's about it for this. We'll bring, bring the camera in here just so you can see the finished product. And there we go and that was our first head that we set up on down here so we'll go ahead and just take that out one more time And then you're ready to go. Then you can keep processing your pallet uh, and run a batch of heads all at once. So, hope that uh, was enjoyable and insightful about the Rottler SG10XY pull the hole uh, fully CNC automated seat cutting machine. Uh, appreciate you joining me. I'm Ryan, the applications engineer here. Uh, you can reach me at ryan at rottlermfg.com. If you have any questions, seat cutting related, specifically this machine, uh, and any cutting products in general. So uh, you guys take care, and we'll see you next time.